Hey, we hit 60k followers. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks again, Gotham Chess. You raided at a very intense moment. Uh, but yeah, everyone should check out Gotham Chess. I'll add you to this follower extension. Gotham Chess. Okay. We'll play London. I have to go... At least for the first few games, I'm going to stay in my comfort zone when it comes to the opening. Var is a demon. Yeah. He's good at chess. Oh, let's play this move. This is also kind of new London theory. Um, yeah, Queen F3 is like, it's kind of becoming more trendy recently. But even strong players don't entirely know about it. Uh, the idea is to make black commit to this or this. Now I'm going to go for the, the kingside attack. If I, if I win one game against Var, I'll be happy. Because he's the type of player who can probably like beat me 10 in a row. But okay, the first game, it, it's a sign we're going to have some fights. Wow, it's Orion Arrow gifting subs. Thanks so much. Orion Arrow gifting subs to Cabaju, Montressor64, Anna Cabana, Ith46, and Yash numbers. Really appreciate that. Play a3 here. The problem is takes takes c4 is kind of... Oh, c4, I can take it. We can't play c4. Yeah, I'll play a3. Oh, there's a dog outside the window. That's barking. I don't know if people hear, though. I've tried to fix my mic so it's not having so much background noise. Anyway, okay, we should focus on the chess. I have a time advantage. That's some nice kind of opening, exotic opening preparation. I think I have to take this. I'll go for queen g3 with a battery. Going for... Actually, I don't know what the threat is. Like, sometimes there's a threat of taking, but I'm probably not in this position. I'll go for knight e2. I'll probably castle and then still try and attack on the king's side. Bishop a6 is a really, probably a really strong move. I could play f3. I could play this move too and attempt to win a pawn, but probably not a wise decision. There's rook d1 with a x-ray. I'll play rook d1. I might be forced to bond cloud against my will if he takes on e2, but that's part of life. Also, thanks Wea PL subbing with Prime. Appreciate that. Hmm, that's interesting. I want to take with rook, but then my pawns are in shambles. I could take with pawn. It's a weird decision. I could take with knight as well. I'm just worried about the c-file. I'm trying to anticipate after rook takes d4, there's queen c8, I guess. And then... Let's take with rook. Let's be active. I'm going to prioritize peace activity over pawn structure. Maybe now f3. Mm, it's difficult though, the bishop wants to take my knight and then the queen wants to take the pawn. And c4 doesn't really help. Oh, what to do? Queen g2, maybe. It's actually kind of a neat idea. Queen g2? So the idea is after takes, 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 I take and I defend and attack. And if knight c6 and I fork with a rook, the queen would help still defend and attack. 
But he sees all of that. Chooses not to go for it. So I can take the pawn, though. Got my time. Maybe f3. This is so ugly. But f3 at least, it defends my knight and it prepares castling. Like castling rook f2 and I can turtle up. But my pieces are so ugly. No offense to my pieces. Like rook d2, rook f2. Like the rook doesn't belong in e4. My queen doesn't belong on g2. At least, oh, there's this move, and this move, and my time. I mean, rook d4 is probably the most logical. I'm up a pawn, that's like the one good thing about the situation. Probably not for long, though. Okay, if takes, and I can maybe fix the structure. That's not happening. Ah, my other pawn. I can't save everything here. Maybe take with rook or knight. Let's take with knight to keep pieces on the board, expecting queen takes c3. Perhaps bishop e. No, bishop there doesn't work. Let's go for this move to go for the storm. The defense. Ooh. So if takes, I play this. And he's such a beast at blitz. There goes my bishop. Any hope? Ah, good game. Well played. I, I have the auto Lee chess message. Any game I lose, it will Seven automatically months. send this message. Ah, okay, lost two. That was a cool game, though. I mean, I was kind of happy with the opening until my king got stuck. Bishop a6 was really, like, it's a really key move for him. Let's look at the next game. This so, one, yeah, I was curious of, like, how well you knew some of these openings. I was trying to play some uh, some well, novel I, things. I, I, knew, I, I knew some of the, the you know, because I know you know a lot of these tricky openings. So, <laughs> the, the this next game we played, I think this is the game where you played Queen f3 line, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, the queen yeah, f3. Th yeah, this was actually played by my student against me. Oh. And and he might have seen it from your streams. My One of my new students, R. Frankel. R. Frankel. Um, Interesting. Uh, yeah, so uh, so he played against me this. And uh, and first, I didn't know anything about it. Then I looked at it, and I realized that there was there were games played in this with Shimanov and a few other grandmasters. Yeah, and it's, it's a, it gained popularity, I think, towards the end of last year. Yeah, and it's it's both like Leela and Stockfish approved. Like Leela will will have Queen F3 as a top move and, and suggest these lines with Knight C3 and G4 H4. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. My friend uh, who is watching and uh, my, and he, he confirmed that he saw this idea from your stream. Oh, so okay. I, <laughs> yeah. So he he might be a follower or a subscriber too. Yeah. Right, so Queen F3. Uh, so I think I have to play D5. So there's two moves. There's D5 and there's Knight C6. Yeah, Knight and. C6. Yeah. If I ever play this in bullet, sometimes people will pre-move bishop b7, so it's yeah. uh, an added it, bonus. It, it, works, it works great, yeah. So here... The d5 looks fine, yeah. Yeah, and now g4. So where... where I, somehow it went really uh, really nice for me. Where do you think you might have slipped? You might have slipped a little bit here. Do you think maybe you should play knight g2 sometime, or...? Yeah, no, I, I think, like, once I get these double pawns, and especially, like, once you play bishop a6 on move yeah. 12, I, I was in trouble. Yeah, yeah. No, I think when I when I was watching these games, my impression was they, they wait, they wait, actually. They don't put a bishop on d3. They, right, because maybe bishop like here and here. Yeah, and they very quickly, they go long castle. Mm -hmm. Actually, the point, I think, to get to g5, you got to get the pawn on g5 very quickly, I think. That it makes sense, fine. right? Before the start, before the structure on c three is compromised, so I think get get into g five quickly. But so, can you play ninety four here? Because I don't know if I want to castle queen side, allow the yeah, double pawns. Yeah, this 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 is a problem. Yeah, because I might still be able to take, but hmm. 
I'm wondering if maybe I should just delay... I wonder if there's a way to maybe first play 92. I think, I think, yeah, maybe they do that. Maybe they, that's why they maybe... Or even first castle, castle queenside. I don't know. Yeah, or castle queenside because then bishop b4... So if you play bishop b4, then I don't have to commit to g4. I can play 92 and a3. Exactly, yeah. I think maybe that's how they play. I, I actually look at this recently. There was two games by Shimanov and there were... Mm -hmm. There was uh, there was another Russian grandmaster, a strong player. He had a couple of games as well that he won. I see one game from Moisenko yeah. in 2017, actually. Sure, sure. Absolutely. But of course, there's been more games played online uh, as well. So... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I felt... Uh, I mean, I felt like I was kind of surviving... Yeah. Even you, after you Bishop A6? Yeah, you you defended it very well, I think, because it looked it looked really bad. But you at least I, I you, never you, fully got out of trouble. Yeah, you you managed to castle only last one pawn, you know. But maybe at some point you could have taken on d4. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was a better chance. I don't know later on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's still kind of awkward. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, the the pieces were not uh, harmonizing yeah. that well. Yeah, the coordination was broken, and it was very hard to. And, and the problem was very hard to start an attack or do some mm -hmm. get some kind of contraplay. So yeah, uh, I think I think probably yeah the conclusion for this line, guys. If you want to play, you should try to do this idea early. Uh, you know, early long castle. I think I like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then so you you don't have to worry about getting the double pawns because this I think this is fine. And then quickly you get the g4, g5 in. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. This is another line. Like, I just haven't had so much experience with, like, the move order nuances. Because it's, it's hard to, like, it, it's not every yeah. every game you can get it yeah. uh, so consistently. Um, yeah. But it's that's why it's it's great to have matches like this where, like, you're really yeah. challenging some of the ideas early in the opening. And uh, sure. you can learn a yeah. lot from the move, move yeah. order. Yeah, you also surprised me in that one more game, but we'll get to that game as well. I sure. think it was the French game. Yeah, uh, the Orthoschnapp. 